there is no surprise in the Reserve Bank of India's uh, mid-quarter review of monetary policy. Uh, the Indian Central Bank has left rates unchanged and there is also no change in CRR. Mind you, Reserve Bank of India had cut CRR by 125 basis point in the past one month or so. Uh, a part of the market was expecting a rate cut, uh, but um, you know that did not happen. Um, if, if one goes to the statement of Reserve Bank of India, it, 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 it has made it very clear that its concern about uh, Inflation still remains, um, and of course, there is concern for growth, and um, you know, in the, in the fiscal situation. Uh, in terms of guidance, uh, Indian Central Bank has said that well, rate has peaked, and from now on, rate can only go down. Uh, but there is no, um, you know, as such guarantee that it would go down in April itself. Uh, in other words, when Reserve Bank of India announces its um, annual policy for fiscal 2013. Uh, will it go for a rate cut? At this point, it's not very clear because it says that uh, risk, uh, inflation risk, is continues to be very high. Um, indeed, inflation has come down uh, in both in uh, January and February. Um, um, WPI inflation has come down below seven percent, which is RBI's year end target is seven percent. Even though in February WP has gone up, but still it's below seven percent. And uh, more importantly, um, the non-food manufacturing inflation or the proxy for core inflation is about 15 months low now. In February, it has gone down below six percent. So inflation trajectory is pretty clear. It looks like from now on it can only go down. And um, well, I, I would think, uh, despite all the caveats, one can expect a 25 basis point cut in April. But Reserve Bank of India has not given any commitment. In that sense, the statement is a bit confusing because it says, indeed, uh, rate cycle. Now, now, uh, from now on, we'll only see rate cuts. Uh, but uh, why it it had to say this when uh, concerns about inflation is quite high?